four, three, two, one. Oh, all engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Ethereum 2.0 final test net set to launch on August 4th. The long-awaited Ethereum 2.0 network upgrade has taken one step closer to launch with a preliminary date announced for the final planned public test net. The platform's launch coordinator, Danny Ryan, at Twitwo, shared the news on the testnet's discussion board on Discord. After discussions with client teams, the next multi-client testnet, mainnet config including min validator numbers, will have a min genesis time of August 4th. Further details would be made public in a couple of days, the Ethereum developer added. Phase 0 of ETH 2.0 has been running on various testnets since the genesis block was created for Beacon Chain in April. Phase 0 is the first stage in the long-awaited upgrade to proof-of-stake and will dramatically increase transaction speeds. Instead of the current proof-of-work system which involves miners, ETH 2.0 will be secured by users putting up a minimum of 32 ETH stake to run a validating node. Three months of successful testing. Beacon Chain went live on the initial testnet, called Sapphire, in April using smaller 3.2 ETH deposits. Following its success, full 32 ETH nodes went live in May on the Topaz testnet and staking rewards were issued. The Onyx testnet commenced in June and was running steadily with around 20,000 validators by the end of the month. Finally, the Altona coordinated multi-client testnet for Phase 0 went live in early July to ensure stability before a public testnet could be rolled out. Prismatic Labs have conducted most of the previous testing. The Prism ETH 2.0 client was successfully audited last week by blockchain security and auditing firm Quantstamp. A weekend blog post by Prismatic confirmed that its developers are so close to launching a final multi-client public testnet. Network under pressure. Ethereum has faced increased pressure recently from a surge in stablecoin issuance and the DeFi boom. Gas usage and network fees have skyrocketed to record levels leaving the platform open to criticism from its detractors. In the interim, Layer 2 scaling solutions could alleviate these bottlenecks and bring gas fees back down to sustainable levels. But in the long run there is a lot riding on Ethereum 2.0. U.S. Banking Regulator Greenlights Crypto Custody at Federally Chartered Banks Per July 22nd announcement shared with Cointelegraph, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, OCC, is granting permission to federally chartered banks to custody cryptocurrency. The future of banking with crypto on board. This issue has seen much skepticism, given that crypto wallets do not resemble the custody requirements of other sorts of assets. Nonetheless, in its interpretive letter on the subject, the OCC wrote, The OCC recognizes that, as the financial markets become increasingly technological, there will likely be increasing need for banks and other service providers to leverage new technology and innovative ways to provide traditional services on behalf of customers. In the words of the announcement, the new opinion applies to national banks and federal savings associations of all sizes. Acting Comptroller of the Currency Brian Brooks similarly saw the development as part of modernizing banking in the U.S., saying from safe deposit boxes to virtual vaults, we must ensure banks can meet the financial services needs of their customers today. The OCC's letter further specifies that bank custody of crypto assets is dependent on their access to the keys to the crypto wallets rather than any sort of physical requirement, a confirmation of Andreas Antonopoulos' famous line of not your keys, not your coins. The OCC specifies that national banks may escrow encryption keys used in connection with digital certificates because a key escrow service is a functional equivalent to physical safekeeping. OCC's heightened crypto engagement under Brooks. Coming from Coinbase's legal team, Brian Brooks' tenure as acting comptroller has seen accelerated onboarding of crypto capabilities in the U.S. financial system. Speaking with Cointelegraph in early June, Brooks hinted at his interest in expanding the right to custody crypto. This follows an international trend of banks looking to incorporate the crypto asset class 